This is a prophecy given by Almighty God, the sovereign of this universe, to Jewish prophet Ezekiel. And I read from a division in the Bible we call the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, condemn Gog, that wicked ruler of the kingdoms of Meshach and Tubal, in the land of Magog. Tell him, I, the Lord God, am your enemy, and I will make you powerless. I will put a hook in your jaw and drag you away, both you and your large army. You command cavalry troops that wear heavy armor and carry shields and swords. Your army includes soldiers from Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, as well as from Gomer and Beth Targoma in the north. Your army is enormous. So keep your troops prepared to fight, because in a few years I will command you to invade Israel, a country that was ruined by war. It was deserted for a long time, but its people have returned from their foreign nations where they lived once. The Israelites now live in peace in the mountains of their own land. But you and your army will attack them like a fierce thunderstorm and surround them like a cloud. When that day comes, I know that you will have an evil plan. To take advantage of Israel, that weak and peaceful country where people live safely inside towns and have no walls or gates or locks. You will rob the people in towns that was once a pile of rubble. These people lived as prisoners in foreign nations, but they have returned to Israel, the most important place in the world, and they own livestock and property. The people of Sheba and Duran, alongside the merchants from the villagers in southern Spain, will be your allies. They will want some of the silver and gold, as well as livestock and property that your army takes from Israel. I, the Lord God, know that when you see my people Israel living in peace, you will lead your powerful cavalry from your kingdom in the north. You will attack my people like a storm cloud that covers the land. I will let you invade my country Israel so that every nation on earth will know that I, the Lord, am holy. The Lord said to God, long ago I had my prophets warn the people of Israel that someday I would send an enemy to attack them. You, Gog, are that enemy. And that day is coming. When you invade Israel, I will become furious. And in my anger, I will send a terrible earthquake to shake Israel. Every living thing on earth will tremble in fear of me. Every fish and bird, every wild animal and reptile, and every human. Mountains will crumble, cliffs will fall, and cities will collapse. The Lord will make the mountains of Israel turn against you. Your troops will be so terrified that they will attack each other. I will strike you with diseases and punish you with death. You and your army will be pounded with rainstorms and hailstones and burning sulfur. I will do these things to show the world that I, the Lord, am holy. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, condemn Gog and tell him, You are the ruler of Meshach and Tubal, but I, the Lord, am your enemy. I will turn you around and drag you from the north until you reach the mountains of Israel. I will knock the bow out of your left hand and the arrows out of your right hand, and you and your army will die on those mountains. Then birds and wild animals will eat the flesh of your dead bodies left lying in the open fields. And I, the Lord, have spoken. I will set fire to the land of Magog and to those nations along the seacoast that think they are so secure. And they will know that I am the Lord. My people Israel will know me, and they will no longer disgrace my holy name. Everyone on earth will know that I am the Holy Lord God of Israel. The day is coming when these things will happen, just as I have promised. When that day comes, the people in the towns of Israel will collect weapons of their dead enemies. They will use the shields, bows, and arrows, spears, and clubs as firewood, and there will be enough to last for seven years. They will burn these weapons instead of gathering sticks or chopping down trees. That's how the Israelites will take revenge on those who robbed and abused them. I, the Lord, have spoken.